Hello everybody, this is Sharon and I wanted to share with you um, I've been working all weekend on this um, you probably recognize a little bit um, Kathy Orta had um, introduced a new way to do a paper bag mini album and I had most of the stuff on hand I'm trying not to shop because I am broke so everything I've used is stuff I have on hand and um, it was a little complicated to make this but I love a challenge so thank you Kathy for offering this challenge sorry if I'm making you all dizzy here <laughs> I'm trying to get this computer here set up okay so I wanted to share with you what I've now I'm not finished I still have more to do but I'm so tired so I wanted to share at least to show what I have done so far and in order to do this since I had to keep watching Kathy's video over and over and over I moved half of my scrap room up here <laughs> So I'm back where I started uh, almost a year ago. So I have half my scrap room up here and half my scrap room downstairs. And I'm probably going to leave it like this because I don't have internet downstairs. And I do like to be able to craft along with the the video when there's instructions in that. Okay, so let me show you what I've done. So, I had, I think for a year now, I've had this grunge board by Tim Holtz. I got at uh, Big Lots, and it came with three different packages. So, I used the big um, wings. Kathy had used wings. And then I used this vintage button that I had see that and you know I love gold so anything gold I've got to put on here and let me fix the light here a little okay um, then I have the I am roses I've got a black a brown and a light violet and then I put a purple feather and doesn't look too purple in the film there but it is purple and then just a regular brown one and it sure doesn't look very brown there let's see with the light can you see that it is brown doesn't look brown okay anyway and then this is another grunge board piece that I had and I painted it with um, copper metallic paint this I painted with black metallic paint and then I put some three black uh, what do you call these oh, I'm forgetting what do you call these I just had it on my mind blah 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 okay you know what those are those little things that spread okay so those things <laughs> <laughs> and then I put a key here and I did the kind of binding where you put the piece of board on the back and then tape to the um, two covers and I used this ribbon that I have been hoarding for over a year. This is from Scrapstis, Rena, when she sent me a gift a long time ago and she wrapped it up really beautiful in this ribbon. So I'm finally using it, Rena. And then I have this butterfly and I can't remember if I bought this or if Elaine who is Silly Frog Honeybee if she bought that for me in a rack. So I'll give her credit for that. 
and then I have a little garment pin holding that on. So that's the cover and what I did is I used the Big Bite and I put a extra large eyelet and then this beautiful purple ribbon is from Maribel Scraps and she just had her baby this month baby Hugo and she sent me this in a rack and I have put this piece on it and it's a, a magnet and so this keeps it close because this is awfully thick as you can see so that is my closure and then when I want to open it, I just release the magnet. And as I said, this is about my boys. So on this page, um, Kathy had a pocket that she cut out with her Cricut. And she had a, um, what do you call it? a cartridge that I did not have so I looked up one of mine and mine was oh now I don't remember the name of it um, I'll write it in the description so I made a pocket here and taped it on here and then put the paper on the front and then I made a pocket here and I still have to put pictures I'm just so tired so I'll put something in here and maybe a little picture here and then there's my boys this is my baby he's 22 now and he's 26 and this is at the museum in San Francisco so that's one little wallet and then here he's in kindergarten and in kindergarten they told me he was the only one with an earthquake underneath him and two years later they diagnosed him with ADHD and we had to put him on medication because he just was not learning. He could not sit still at all. So he's he's really struggled with school. But he's he's a great kid. And he doesn't take medication anymore. He stopped medication at about 17 and he's learned how to live with it and he just has jobs where he uses a lot of energy and school is just not something that's his favorite thing and then this is Golden Gate Park and that's him skating so I'm not sure if I want to put pictures on the outside or not because the paper is so pretty I hate to um, cover it all up but I do have all these pictures that have been sitting around and I need to use them and I can put a picture over here too so there's my baby when he was born and he's the second and this is when he was eight days old and um, I'm from a Jewish background and when they're eight days old we have them um, the boy is circumcised and we have what's called a moil that comes to the house and it's a special ceremony and he does one two three and the baby circumcised so we're waiting for everybody to come and we have food and all that and I'm wiped out because I had a pretty um, I had a cesarean and it was a very high-risk pregnancy and I was all swollen with uh, toxemia they had to take him 10 days early and look how big he was he was 9 pounds 10 ounces imagine if he was 10 days longer he would have been at least 10 pounds so oh, I'll put that in later okay so I got the pocket there 
and then um, I had the hardest time you I never use um, the glue gun and I use the glue gun that was recommended by Kathy but I do not like the glue gun and if I ever do this again I am not using the glue gun and I think I will skip this pocket and just use these pockets so I made this little booklet like she had shown and I have one of these little clips and I put a little charm on it and then I made the little book like she explained and then I've got well, this one uh, I I was gonna do a picture book of my mom so I gotta take that out I already got enough of mom she's got like three different books I've made of her time to do the kids now, let's see this one I've got this is my older one and then this is the younger one so I made this where it flips open like that and I'm not sure if I want to put pictures on the outside or not so that goes in the little pocket there and then you can put something here you can put a picture there so a lot of room I've got the little zebra here can put a little journal spot there and then it falls out so I use this little thing to like grab onto the edge there because otherwise it keeps falling out so on this one I got I can't remember how I got this if it was from um, I did win a giveaway and I think this might have been in the giveaway or it was from Iraq one or the other <laughs> I can't remember but it says, um, what does it say? Social royalty. And I thought it was pretty cool. And it weighs down this page because we got a lot going on here. So there's my little one. And this was, I ended up in a divorce from their father right around when he was this age. And so we were living in a one bedroom. They had the bedroom and I slept in the front room and then this is when we went to Disneyland and then let's see if I can remember how I did this okay so then this opens up and then this was Christmas and then we got here so then this closes like this and this closes like that and then this lifts up like that so that's why I wanted it weighed down. That's Disneyland again. And then I've got the the tag. So like Kathy said, there's just so many opportunities for pictures. And then in here I've got the bingo cards. And you can put pictures on there. And then I made um, the bingo card like a pocket you can put a picture on here so that's nice and then I've got over here cards with pictures and then you've got a tag over here I haven't even put a picture on that one yet and then this is my older ones when he had, um, we got him professional pictures for his senior year. And I'm sorry we didn't do for my younger one. Um, and this is my older one when he was a baby. He probably doesn't like I'm showing him. They're a little naked. And then this is when we went to El Salvador. And then let's see what did I do here. And here I just made like a little um, thing like this. And then I put a picture in there. And then I used this little animal thing where you can put this in here. And then I can do some journaling. And I still have room to put a picture here. And if I want, I can put a picture there. And that just fits right in there. And then there's a tag in here. 
So I am just going to be putting all these pictures that have been sitting around in that can right there. So I'm so happy that I'm finally getting these pictures together. There's my older one in his Mickey Mouse shirt. And then we got the flap here. And then I got, there's my uncle, he passed away. And then there's John. And there. And then here he is, a little fireman. So see, I, I don't really care for, I know you can put stuff there. But it falls out easy, so I really don't care for that pocket there. So next time I make this, I'm not I'm not going to make that pocket. It's cute, you know, for the design, but other than that, I don't care for it. And then here's picture, and then I made a little pocket where I can put journaling, and this says curiosity, and he was always getting into stuff and that was his big stuff rabbit that he loved so that's why I put the little rabbit there. One thing about the side pockets it it does hold in what you put here so that part is good and then instead of a tack here if I can get it out Ooh, doesn't even come out whole thing's going to tear apart. Wait, let me lay it down. Come out. There. Okay, I made... How you like that car? Isn't that cool? I think this was Chuck E. Cheese. This is that quad picture thing she showed how to do. So I just put a bunch of pictures of the kids in there. And when I try to put it on the side pockets, it falls out. So I decided I'm putting it in where you would put the tag. And then you have where you have the little pockets here and you can put journaling. So I put, I just put the pocket in that. So this is really nice. I like how she taught that and I did a pocket over here too. So this is really handy for any kind of mini so I've really learned a lot from Kathy. Thank you so much, Kathy, for teaching this. I have really, really learned so much. I'll put that away later. Okay, so that's at the zoo in San Francisco. That's at the zoo. So here's a pocket here. And see the glue comes apart. I don't like the glue. I haven't put anything here yet. I'm gonna put something to stick in here and then I got a tag look how cute here he's so shy isn't he darling oh I miss him they grow up too fast enjoy your little ones because they will grow up fast so here's another one of those flip and then um I cut there is a pocket underneath but I didn't want to use it so I just covered it up and I can't decide what I want to do she did a really neat thing and I do have one of those faces with the hands so I'm deciding do I want to do that I don't have all the jewelry and everything she did now this is that big wallet that she made pick a pocket I think she called it and I haven't finished decorating it but wherever I put it it fell out so I decided to use velcro and I can't remember what she finally ended up doing but I put velcro to hold it in place on the back then I can just pull it out and here's the band take that off I got one picture in there I can put a picture here, I can put a picture here, I've got here I can put pictures, and I only put two envelopes, I didn't put, I didn't, and I had to make my own because I didn't have the size, but she gave very good instructions how to make, and two was enough, with all, all these pockets, who needs four, so, and these things, 
I made a boo-boo and I didn't leave these open at the end like the other one. So I figure these are good for little pictures and journaling and that. And I made a pocket here. And so good enough. You learn from your boo-boos. So that's how I made mine. So it took me three days and I'm still not finished and made a lot of boo-boos, tore out stuff and put it back, but um, that's how you learn. So I really want to thank Kathy and um, it's really worth trying because I've learned so much that now I can use in other stuff and I have that um, Tim Coffrey coffee uh, blossom wood that I've been hoarding and I'm going to finally make a mini album and I have the uh, mariposa that I've been hoarding and I want to use some of these wallet things and um, I want to make it a paper bag so I'm going to do some of this stuff and then some different so when I'm finished decorating this, I will show the final product. Um, the inside, I think I made it too wide. The, um, what did she call those? You know, where you c connect them, the hinges. So I wouldn't make it so wide next time, but with the way I've um, connected it, it doesn't matter. You don't, you don't see it. and it works out and I like the magnet thing it really holds it together and it stands up nice and it's really presentable so let me know what you think thank you all for watching bye